Hi there and thank you for joining me. In this video we're going to take a look at pie charts. I have already covered this in the level one functional skills section but I want to take it just a little bit further for GCSE. For this you are going to need in your exam a nicely sharpened pencil, a compass and be familiar with the use of a protractor. <laughs> So a pie chart represents information in a specific way. It's important that we look to see how it's done and what a pie chart tells us, but also what it doesn't tell us. Let's have a look at the one on the screen. It could be anything. It's a circle that is broken down into sectors. In this case, I've decided that people have been asked to choose their favorite color of cars. So we can see four colors have been chosen. A pie chart is based on the fact that the angle around a whole circle is 360 degrees. Therefore, when we look at the degrees in each of the sectors of this pie chart, they have to add to 360. That must always be the total. Let's take a look at this then. We can see four colors have been chosen. Now, simply by glancing at it, it's apparent at 150 degrees around the circle that a grey car is the most popular choice. We can also see that purple and green were split evenly, 60 degrees each, therefore the same number of people chose those two colours. We can be even more accurate about the orange colour at 90 degrees. We can say that a quarter of the people asked chose an orange car. So. A quick glance gives us the comparative proportion, how popular grey is compared to green, orange and purple, etc. What it doesn't tell us is how many people have been asked. There are no numbers telling us the size of the sample. This could be 10 people, 100 people, a million people. It does not give us that information. It is simply comparing the popularity of the colours. So using our rule that the total is 360, if we add 60, 90, 60 and 150 degrees, we do indeed get 360. Now I've just cleared my screen to give us a little bit of space to work. The first thing that you might be asked is to find out the fraction of the total of any of these colours. So let's say for the moment we are working with green and you are asked what fraction of the total is the green? Well, we can simply state that because the fraction is going to be 60 degrees out of a total of 360. So all we need to do is simplify this fraction down and we discover that green cars were chosen by one sixth of the people. Similarly, if we look at the orange sector here, then maybe this is even simpler, but we have 90 degrees so that is expressed as 90 over 360, which equals one quarter. Therefore, we can say that one quarter of the people chose the orange car. And the same can be done with the other sectors. So changing a sector, the degrees, into a fraction simply means stating that amount over 360 and simplifying the fraction. Now let's have a look at a question you might get in an exam. So here we are being asked to draw a pie chart to show the information about how students get to college. We're given the information and the options of walking, bus, car, train and cycle and we have the numbers for each. So we need to change these numbers so that they will fit into a pie chart and don't forget a pie chart has to add up to 360. The first trick is to add these numbers up. Usually you will find in an exam they will add up to a quite convenient number. Now in this case, if we add these up, the total number of students is 90. Now don't forget we need to fit this into 360 degrees. The way we do this is we take the 360 and we divide by 90. That means we get the answer 4. 
So, in order to convert 90 students into 360 degrees, we have to change each of these numbers by multiplying by 4. 4 times 90 is 360. So we're going to come out with another set of figures. And when we multiply them all by 4, walk is going to be 48. The bus is going to be 72. The car is going to be 128. The train is going to be 40. And the cycle is going to be the same as the bus, 72. Let's check that we've got this right. If we add all these together, we get the total of 360. So we can fit these numbers in here. These are the degrees of each sector of the pie chart, knowing that we will end up with 360 and that will represent these different methods of travel. So let's do this. First of all, we need our circle. You can use your protractor to draw this. And I've also, you notice, marked the center point. The easiest way to start always seems to be to start with a vertical line, really. So the first of our segments is going to start from here. The first thing we need to do is put in our walk. So using a protractor, we are going to measure 48 degrees. So this sector here is the walking 48 degrees and we can simply label it walking. We can then also put in here 48 degrees. And we continue around the circle using the protractor to measure the angles. 72 degrees for those traveling by bus, 128 degrees for those in cars, 40 degrees for the train travelers. And in fact, the nice thing is that as long as you've got these four accurate, the last sector is already drawn for you because the only sector left is the one for the people who travel to work by cycling. Therefore, and it is a good check to actually measure this at the end to show you've got all the others right, this should measure 72 degrees. And that is for the cyclists. So looking at what you've just created, you can see the number of degrees that each of the different travel methods took. We can see the car is more popular. We can see the train is the least popular and so on. But actually, anybody looking at your pie chart cannot again see the numbers. They don't have that table at the top, so they do not know how many students are involved in this survey. Now, there is a third situation that can occur where you are shown a pie chart and asked to find numbers. Let's have a look at that situation. So here's our new pie chart, and this time we are looking at students' favourite drinks. Again, a quick glance tells us that cola is, well, half the student's choice. It's by far the more popular, followed by lemon, drinks, orange, and the least popular is water. Now, this time we're given a little bit extra information. We are actually told that this survey, this pie chart, is representing 90 students. Now, we can use this to work out how many students chose each type of drink because we know that the total number of degrees in a circle is 360. That means these 90 students are being represented by 360 degrees. So the first thing we need to do is 360 divided by 90. That gives us the answer four. What that is telling us is that each student is being represented by four degrees. Every one degree is four students. Therefore, if we, for instance, have a look at the lemon choice, we know it's 80 degrees. We know four degrees is one student. So if we divide by four, that means that 20 students chose the lemon drink. Similarly, orange would be 60 divided by four. Therefore, 15 students, 40 divided by 4 for the water, that would be 10 students, and 180 divided by 4 for the cola would be 45 
students which makes sense because we can see color is half half of 90 is 45 you can always check your answer by adding them together 45 plus 20 plus 15 plus 10 does indeed equal 90 students so we've broken down from degrees into actual numbers again you can only do this if you know the number of people or the number of items in the survey and that enables you to make this calculation otherwise you are just looking at the representation in degrees and that's pie charts i hope you found that useful uh, one thing to mention i think is that you do need to be fairly accurate when you're measuring your angles the examiner might give you a tiny amount of leeway but not that much the other thing is i've just spent time putting nice pretty colors to highlight the pie charts please don't spend time doing that in an exam a nice clean black and white pie chart is perfectly good you'll just waste time and you certainly won't get any more marks if you have found this useful my subscribe button should be appearing below me anytime now i do have plenty of other videos one to the side of me here i do hope i will see you again and thank you for watching